Hi there, everyone. I'm here to talk about my new bike, which is the Y-Cycles S7 Titanium Hardtail. I'm going to talk to you all about how I've built it, so let's get started. So first off, the S7 can be built on both a 27.5 plus platform or a 29 platform. Um, I've obviously built it up as a 29er, and I'm using Revel wheels. This is a new thing for me, first time on these wheels. Got Industry 9 Hydra hubs, which is not a new thing for me. And I am running Maxxis Recon 2.4 tires on both my front and my rear right now. I chose to run the RockShox Sid Ultimate fork because I wanted something that was super light and it's got 120 millimeters of travel there. My drivetrain is a little bit new. So I am running a uh, SRAM XX1 12 speed cassette, which is, which is uh, normal, but I am on now running the TRP TR12 um, derailleur. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. So this is a brand new derailleur that TRP has made and I've been using their brakes all year and I really love them. So I decided to throw one of these TR12 uh, rear derailleurs on and see how it goes. I'm liking it so far. Um, I don't have a ton of mileage on it, but probably I've got about 500 miles on it at this point and it's doing well. Um, so my chain ring here, I've got a 28 tooth oval chain ring. Um, it is pretty small, but I originally built this bike up to race a race called the Olympic 420, which has a ton of climbing in it. So, uh, went real small for that one. I'm currently running, uh, Trivative Descendant Cranks on there, carbon cranks uh, with a dub bottom bracket. I am going to be putting a power meter on this bike. I have not done that yet. So once I do, I will likely be putting a new crank set on as well. I've got Shimano XT pedals, which is normal. Um, I only have one pair of pedals, so I pilfered them off of my Revel Rascal, which is right there. I'm trying a new dropper post um, from 1UP because I'm able to use 150 millimeter dropper, which is insane for someone who's my size. Um, it's been really great. And here's what the lever looks like right there. I'm liking it so far. Again, a little brand new uh, thing to try for me. My seat is the same. I've had probably 20 of these now on the Cell Italia Diva gel um, with titanium rails. Let's go around to the front here. So here's my cockpit. This is the thing that y'all have been mostly asking me about so far. Um, so I use these ergon grips with the little wing here, little wing and the little tiny bar end. These are old as dirt. I also pilfered them off my rascal. I've had them on probably four bikes at this point. And usually I run the Fast Company Flex mountain bike bars, um, which are here. I'll show you on my rascal. And these have the little elastomer in the bar to provide a little bit of micro suspension. And I usually run these bars and I love them, but the races that I was planning to do on this bike have a lot of gravel in them um, and not a lot of chunky single tracks. So I chose to run just a flat carbon bar. This is an NV carbon bar. And I've got it wrapped here in uh, hockey stick grip tape because I find that when I put my Garmin and my light and other things on here, it just helps it to stay a lot better. Um, so just a thin layer of that. I'm using a Sintase stem, which I have on my Rascal as well, exact same stem, 35 millimeter. And you might notice I have not sheared off my steer tube here. I actually am going to leave this like this for a little while because one of my bike packing bags, it's nice to have this to attach uh, the bag to because I just don't have a lot of room underneath my stem. I got to run my, uh, my cockpit pretty low just because I am so small. I've got these lovely little bar ends, which I have repurposed as bar ends. Uh, these are just a pair of specialized kind of rubber bar ends that I've that I've stuck on here. And I use these when I'm riding um, races or rides that have a lot of road, uh, either pavement or gravel in them, because I like the hand position. It's almost like having a kind of a micro set of aero bars that I can get into a different position and be more aerodynamic when I'm hammering. And it's just another hand position uh, for me, which I really like. Um, as most of you know, I've had quite a few wrist issues and just having other places to put my hands is really useful for me. So 
TRP brakes. Again, not new for me, but these actually are uh, running the G-Spec Trail. I've got the Evo on my Rascal. So this was my first time with the G-Spec Trail. Uh, I loved them. They were great. And let's see, rotors. They're 180 millimeter rotors. What am I missing here? I think that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple build. I'm really loving it so far. It's really fun to ride. It handles really well, even on technical chunky stuff, although it's definitely, obviously not as plush of a ride as my Rascal over here. But it's a super light build. It weighs in at just over 24 pounds, so that's pretty fun. And that's it for now. If y'all have any questions, let me know.